Yo, this is Anthony coming to you live from the Paso Garage. Really, Jed? Really? Listen to me. I'm going to start off by saying, Jim Tomasulo, you're a great defensive line coach. Hey, hell, you could be a great head coach. I think there was a lot better options out there myself, okay? But I don't know your abilities. It's like anything. I'm going to support you because you're a 49er. You're wearing red and gold. Don't fail me, Jim. Don't fail me. You go out there, you do what you have to do. You remember we're a run-first team. You remember that Kaepernick is a triple-threat quarterback. You realize what his triple-threat is. His three threats, okay? Not dual, but three. You figure it out. He can run, he can pass, he can fake the run. You figure that out, and you utilize it, and you make sure that it works. I'm talking to you right now, Jim. You're the head coach. I'm going to swear by you. I'm going to support you. I've done it my whole life. I've been here when Jed's dad screwed his whole team up just like he's doing. And I supported his decisions. I wrote letters. I wrote letters to the organization back then. There was no Facebook. There was internet, but I didn't really use it. But now I do. Jed, I'm coming for you, dude. You fire Vic Fangio? And you're talking to Oakland's defensive coordinator? Did you happen to check their stats out? Did you happen to check their rankings out? Do you know anything about football? You're talking about hiring Mark Trestman? Why don't you look back what happened back in 96? His second year. As an offensive coordinator for the Niners, they had to call Bill Walsh in to hold his hand. He's a moron. Now let's not even go back that far, Jed. Let's just go back to last year. What did the Bears offense rank at? 20. What was it before? Two. What was he brought in to do? Fix Jay Cutler. Oh, Mark Trestman, he's an offensive fucking guru. Oh, I swore, I'm sorry, you're going to have to bleep that out. But Mark Trestman is an offensive guru, right? He's an offensive guru. He gurus nothing. Nothing. He's a quarterback genius, whisperer, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> you hired Mark Trestman, I swear to God, there'll be such anarchy. And I, you know what? It just seems like you've been trying to tell your fans to stick it up their their, their butts. You know what? Because you know what the fans want. You know what the commentators have said. You know what the analysts have said. And you've done the opposite. You got that big of an ego, Judd? Is that what the problem is? Your ego way up there that you got to stand up on your throne and you got to say, you know what, I'm not going to listen to no one. I'm going to do whatever I want to do because I'm Jed York and I have to impress my friends. I have to show them that I'm making my own goddamn decisions. Is that what it is, Jed? Is that what it is, buddy? Well, guess what? This fool right here... He's not going nowhere. I have a movement started. We're coming after you, all right? We're coming after you. You're not going to be able to eat soon, all right? And you could sit there and you could be like, oh, yeah, I got this much money in the bank and this. What about your bank bills that are coming in for that stadium that you built that you priced out for regular fans like me to go sit at, huh? What about those bills that are coming in? Bank's going to want their money, Judd. And guess who's not giving it to you? Me! I love the 49ers. I love the 49ers. I bleed red and gold. You see this hat that I'm wearing right there? Can you guess what year it's from? Well, Google it, Jed. Because I know that you didn't really give a shit about the team back then. Google it and see what year it's from. I've been a 49er fan my whole life. I got a tattoo on my arm to prove it. I wear the gear every day. I don't need to buy new gear to prove my loyalty. I love this team. And I hate what you're doing to it. And we're calm and we're assembling, we're getting strong, we're getting deep, and we're coming right at you, Jed. And we're going to affect you right in your pocketbook.
you're going to make the right decisions. Keep, keep, keep padding this team with yes men to make your ego feel better. Keep putting yes men on the staff. Keep saying, oh, I'm going to get these guys to just bend over and do whatever the hell I want. So I feel important. So when I bring my friends out, they all just cave and bow down and kiss my ring and make me look like I'm some kind of guy. Learn something about football. I don't care what sideline you've been on. I don't care what organization you've been in. Since you've been a kid, you haven't paid attention worth a shit. And it shows it. And it's very apparent. And we're coming for you, Jed. I'm coming for you, Jed. I'm coming with no gloves on. I'm going to take you down. We're taking this team back. Your Uncle Eddie is going to have a say in this team again. Because that's the man that is the genius. He's the one that made this legacy. The Yorks haven't done nothing. Your dad, your mom, you, no one with that last name has done nothing for this team. You haven't done nothing for me or any other fan of this team since you guys had control over it. It's done. It's over with. Your time is coming to an end. I'm going to see to it. Pazzle out!